Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight and today we are in the English bases of Aos Nikolaos and the border is just up the road here guys and if you go down there it's Visules and we'll be recording Visules in a while so here we are Elaine at Aos Nicholas. You can see if it's open, it's a quaint little church. Let's have a look. Now it's all locked up. So let's just have a look around, shall we? Some lovely fields around this area. Looks like this is the old part. Be partly restored, isn't it? And then we've got to uh, a new bit very quiet area I do believe this is part of the British bases now we've got uh, some of the old original stones here that have been removed can you see moved from this area here been replaced there's a lovely old window old stone window can we have a look in see if we can see anything let's clean the glass no nope, can't see oh we're going around the other side there we are oh it's open guys i see i was trying to get through the wrong door right so there's the old Looks like critical windows, doesn't it? Oh wow. Oh, it's very impressive inside. Beautiful old stone. There we are. Partly restored. Fantastic old pews. And look, they've restored the window just here. Not sure if it had a stained glass window here before or not. But you can see the old stone is black where the candles were lit. Can you see? And here we can light a candle for our beloved ones that have passed away. There we are, once you've lit your candle, make a little donation here for taking the candle. And we've got lots of lovely icons. There we are, we come around. Looks like the chandeliers are quite new. Some of the icons are covered in this beautiful handmade crochet. Can you see? Some of the women of the village might crochet something like this and donate it to the church. Alright, so that's the inside. Let's go out. There we are. Shut the door. Right, let's carry on. Right, here's the ch church grounds. They are nice. Lovely old houses. Oh, look, guys. That house is the local post office. How about that then? It's different, isn't it? Okay. Right, so we're just on the outskirts of Vesulis and we'll go and have a little film round there, shall we? It's only a, a little village. 
it's not really got a high street but it's got a little main road and there's some interesting places in there it's also got a refugee area like most villages in Cyprus so we'll have a look at those right let's continue on to Visules we'll carry on videoing because we'll show you the rest of Aos Nick right guys so we're now going to right now we're going through the bases and I will be turning the camera off now okay so no videoing in the bases the British bases and I'll switch the video on as soon as we get on to the other side so we have just left the British bases guys and there's a local bus that will take you up towards the border This area is still a nick. On my left is a quaint little bike shop. See that? Coming up on the right is Litzer's. That's a very nice supermarket. Oh, we've got farmland on our left, beautiful farmland. What's that? Oh, I think it's oranges. Oh, there we are. There's Litzers. They also do Iceland food. I think they also do Waitrose as well. Coming up on my right is a restaurant. It's actually a very popular restaurant. Quite nice. Get what it's called now and there's fans lounge there we are a bar and restaurant thing uh, the restaurant green grove that's right guys I remember now so the restaurant on my right is called the green grove worth a visit I do believe we're coming up to Visulis, the Visulis area. And we're going to do a left into the high street of Visulis. There we are, signposted. On my right, there's a great venue place called the Octagon, and they do a great show called Stardust worth visiting guys it's a fantastic show you can book that anywhere around the Brodad area Panera and it's a drag show guys it's really good it's worth coming and they also give you food at the same time and drink and also guys if you book down in Brodada area there's also transport provided to this area so uh, it's all taken care of definitely a show worth watching when you come over here let's carry on through now this place also does quite a few other shows guys and we'll come in down here in the summer to watch ABBA. So there's quite a lot of tribute bands coming performing down here. Worth looking out for. So that's Stardust and the Octagon. Right, if you carry on straight, it'll come to the village centre, guys. A little village centre. There's a few restaurants down there. Little cafes. Just past some houses on our left and some houses that have not quite been sold yet, guys. You can always pick up a little barking down here. It's a little way out, so a little bit cheaper. Right, so now on my right is the 
refugee area, you can tell by the houses. See? I think coming up on the left is going to be the town hall. So here we are, there's Yanis restaurant. Look, really nice food, worth a visit, guys. They do traditional Cypriot food. Right, let's carry on through. Coming up on our right, guys, a local taverna and cafe. And I think on the left, as I said, is the town hall. There it is, there's the town hall. village of Visules and this is the town square guys on my right there we are family cafe there's the school and the little church little old church and then straight ahead is the bigger newer church square it is there we are a few shops as I said and another taverna just on my left there's the local cafes in the middle of the village A shop and a trendy cafe. Lovely. What else have we got? Oh, we've got it. even a DIY shop. What have we got there in the right? Oh, football stadium, guys. We're just passing the football stadium. Lovely. Didn't expect to see a football stadium in the little village, but uh, there you are. Right, we're going right into the refugee area guys some of the houses have been done up or knocked down and rebuilt there's a traditional old refugee house and next to it is one that's been totally refurbished there's another DIY shop on my right that's excellent loads of DIY going on sounds like my cup of tea junction guys is the main road that will take us into Fenros and uh, Darinya and all sorts of places so we'll do a left there's all the fields loads of open land round here Make out the sign, look, Fenderos five kilometers, Dorinya's nine. You can go the other way for Larnica. You can take the back road and then catch the highway further up. There's some more of these houses. Now we're on the main road to Fenderos, guys. And we'll finish here, guys. Our little trip to Ayanik and Visules. Hope you enjoyed that little trip. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.